All right, chip of the day is an OPA621. Fancy chip, fancy, fancy chip. It is a wideband operational amplifier. So it's a pretty special, special operational amplifier too. The gain bandwidth product of this thing is 500 megahertz. So it's a screamer. It's going to be pretty good. Um, so applications or low noise, it's got great uh, 2.3 nanovolts per root hertz. High output current, it can drive things, 150 milliamps. Um, it's meant to drive 50 ohms. Uh, fast settling time, 25 nanoseconds. Um, yeah, this is a really, really nice part. I, did, I haven't checked the price. <laughs> haven't checked the price on this. Uh, I'll have to, uh, uh, between segments here, I'll have to go check the price to see how much these things cost. I've got a bunch of them in the drawer over there. Um, so low noise amp, high resolution video. Yeah, so it can, ha can handle video speeds. Um, line driver, yeah, it can drive things. Um, buffers, uh, active filters. Yeah, this thing's great. So um, because it's so fast, we can use this in like ham radio land, right? Uh, uh, put some gain. I'll show you a, a signal here that's in the ham radio band and you can see how it's doing there. So here's how the... Uh, the circuit looks it's just a regular diff input uh, there's a current source here that mirrors into this into the uh, long tails so these are current mirrored then it goes into a second current mirror and then to the output stage so it has a heavy duty output stage and the output stuff so yeah pretty cool now uh, big word of warning if you get one of these and they're probably going to be expensive i'm guessing um, do not do not treat it like a regular op amp. Do not put plus or minus 12 volts on it. You will destroy it, all right? The uh, device is plus, it has plus V minus V, so you're thinking, ah, plus or minus 12, plus or minus 15. But if you read the data sheet, uh, let's see here, read the data sheet. Down here, uh, power supply, five volts it's plus or minus but it's five volts so you run this off of plus five minus five volt rails plus or minus five okay and no more okay the absolute max is uh six volts and the absolute min is four volts so yeah run it at plus or minus five volts all right and it's a bit power hungry so the quiescent current is 26 milliamps so yeah so let's hook one up and take a look at it all right, so um, I have one here. It's in a times 10 configuration. There's 1K input and a 10K uh, feedback. It's in a inverting amplifier configuration with going into the minus and into the plus is ground. So standard uh, inverting amplifier configuration. Um, I am going to uh, run it off of plus and minus five volts. And you can see we're uh, 25 milliamps on the minus rail and 28 milli milliamps on the plus rail. And uh, here's our output. So um, the, the input, let's see here. The input is 25 megahertz and the amplitude is uh, 100 millivolts. Okay, so that's the input. Uh, the output is uh, 500 millivolts per scale, so so it's one volt, one volt peak to peak. It started out as 100 millivolt, point, point 0.1 mil, uh, volts peak to peak. Now it's one volt peak to peak, um, but we're running it at 25 megahertz. So we have a gain bandwidth of 250 megahertz, right? Um, so yeah, this guy is uh, this guy's screaming. Um, he does pretty good too at edges. So. Let's change things here a bit. Let's go down to, uh, yeah. So frequency 100 kilohertz. Where did I think get that? Let's go back up to five megahertz. Five megahertz, there we go. Yeah, so five megahertz square wave. Um, yeah, it's doing really good. Um, just a tiny bit of overshoot, but uh, yeah, it looks pretty nice to me. Um, this is a nice, this is a nice part. So again, we're inputting plus and minus 0.1 volts and we're getting out plus and minus one volt um, at five megahertz and we're retaining all the edges. So let's go, let's see how far we can go up here. So if we can go up to uh, 10 megahertz. Yeah, 10 megahertz is still doing pretty good. Yep, still doing pretty good. So anyway, nice part.
So I tried looking up a price of this thing. I don't think they're made anymore, so nobody's got them. But I think on the used market, they're like a $10 op amp or something like that. I don't know what they were originally new. But uh, uh, comment below if you know what, the, what a good replacement is for this. Uh, what is a modern day equivalent for the, uh, the OPA 612? Uh, be interesting to know. Anyway, uh, chip of the day, the OPA 621, a very, very nice fast op amp.